All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove this uh, front bumper. Some people call it the fascia, but it's, you know, the front bumper with the grill. So I'm going to walk you guys to it. All right, let's get to it. So when you open up the hood, uh, you need to come in here. You take these clips off here, 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 and the ones on the back there. So pretty common stuff. You're going to know how to take all of that. Before you can take this piece off though, you gotta take the two torques that are in here with the handle that actually releases the, the latch. Um, so you take that off, now you're able to take this off. Okay, I already did it before I started the video. Then from there, the grill's actually gonna be getting held on by some clips, uh, you, some tents. So you gotta take the tents, as you can see here, I already took them off. Let's take those tents off. And then from there, you're gonna go ahead and use a flathead to go ahead and lift up because it's actually holding on, it's clipped on. The grill itself is clipped on, so you need to lift it. That's gonna let it loose, okay? After that, really easy. You gotta come to the sides here. Now you have seven millimeter up here, inside another seven and another seven, okay, right on the edge. This one, you gotta take all the way out. These two you loosen up, you can leave them in there so the bracket stays intact. On the side here, you have about six torques that you need to take all the way out. You have to take the one that's all the way inside here, okay? So you can open this up all the way. As you can see in there, there's a 10 millimeter that goes in there. Sorry for the lighting, there's not light, there's no light here and my phone doesn't, I, I'm not able to use a light on here but there is a tent inside of there that you'll be able to see you see my finger there okay um you got to take that one out and then also under the bumper here you're gonna see seven millimeters you got to take those out do not take the ones that are close together because that's going to release these brackets here okay the ones that are together do not take those out okay you can leave those on there <clears throat> you're going to do the same thing on the other side um that's pretty much it the main thing about this grill and this bumper is that was a really pain in the ass for me is taking this piece off as you can see here you have some clips there that are holding on so when you come and take this off you got to use a small pry tool and just push these out maneuver them a little bit wiggle them so it can, it can come right out there's two of them there's another one here if you do not take these out and you're trying to pull on the grill, it's gonna seem like something's bolted in between here in the middle, but it's not. This is what's holding it here. On the inside, there's actually some clips that are in there, but those will release once you start pulling, but it is super critical, and I'm gonna stress this. I can't stress this enough, okay? You have to release these two before this can loosen up. Nobody out there showing that. I'm letting you know right now. If you do not release these, this is going to seem like it's bolted and you might end up breaking something and we don't want to do that we want to make sure that everything gets taken off the right way okay so once you take these out as you can see now it pops out see so now all i got to do is lift and i'm going to have to i'm going to go ahead and take it all off and then i'll get back to you guys on the other video but this is the way you take a 2021 front bumper off we are going to be doing, uh, we're going to be blacking out all the chrome and the copper. I will show you guys when it's all done. If anybody has any questions, uh, tag me on here. I'll be happy to help. Uh, there's torques on the bottom. I don't think I mentioned that. Take all those torques out except for the ones that are together. Leave those alone. Uh, and there's se uh, sevens, about five of them going on the sides here. Take those out. Okay. And then the 10 that's behind it. The plug that's on the side that's gonna connect everything is on this side. Here you go. And it has the red lever here, the safety on top. You gotta push that up and then you just, you know, turn it. So you can see it's one of those handle locking connectors here. And once you're done, you're good. Everything should be loose. And then this other clip here, you 
you have to take this one off as well okay other than that that should be it if you guys have any questions let me know but if not this is cisco with cisco's all-in-one auto hopefully this helped you guys out all right thanks